This training video was developed at the Statistical Services Centre at the University of Reading. It's part of a set of resources aimed primarily at researchers. In the previous demonstration, we started working on the data entry forms. Using just the skills of moving, aligning and adding text, we have done some further work on the household record form, as you can see on the screen. The next task is to format the identification section and bring this into the main form. We will first demonstrate how to add boxes to the form. On the questionnaire, question 3A on housing includes boxes around each item. Mimicking the boxes exactly is very fiddly and time consuming, but we will put a box around all seven items together. We right click in a blank space on the form and choose add boxes. A small floating toolbox appears from where you can choose the style of the box border. We will choose a thin border. We move the cursor to where we want the corner to be and drag across to the opposite corner. If you need to change the size of the box, click the arrow on the toolbox, then click on the box to select it. Change the size by moving the sizing handles which appear in the corners and along the sides. You can move the box in the same way as you can move any text or item on the screen. We now have the skills to format the identification item. And that's what we have done here. There are two points to note here. Firstly, in our questionnaire, confidential was in white on a black background. In CS Pro, you can change the background color of the entire form by right clicking, choosing form properties and changing the color. But you cannot change the background color for an individual item or for just part of the form. Therefore, we've compromised on this and just changed the text color. The other point of note is the underlined text. Now, any formatting you apply to text is applied to that whole piece of text. Therefore, this particular row is made up of three separate text items. We want to move the identification items here to the top of the household form. We first need to make space for it by moving all these items down the screen. Once we have space at the top of the form, we go back to the identification and select everything from this form. We use Control X to cut the contents. We go to the household record and use Control V to paste these items. Note the items will always be pasted at the top of the visible screen. We can now delete the separate identification form. But first we will save our work by clicking the save button on the toolbar. Now to delete this form, we right click on the form and choose delete form. Note CS Pro does not give a warning about this deletion, so make sure you're deleting the correct form. It's a good idea to save your work regularly, particularly before making any major changes and certainly before deleting anything. The tab order is the order you will move between items during data entry. 
this is not necessarily the same as the order of the items on the screen, especially if you have moved things around and added items from other forms. The order of the lists of items in the left-hand panel is the order of data entry, and you may be surprised to find household number and village code at the bottom of this list. We will change this order. We'll click on village code and drag it to the top of the list. Then we move household number in the same way. So the first item to be entered will be the village code, the second item will be the household number, then the third will be the sex of respondent. You now have most of the skills available to create professional looking forms. We've been working on combining everything into a single form which now covers more than one screen length so vertical scrolling would be needed during data entry. You may prefer to have separate forms for each page of the questionnaire and keep each of these to one screen length. We now have the knowledge to do this.